Previously on Odin's Fear, Lifeless Year. I usually do business with the fairies here. But this area has been unsafe lately. Apparently, it's this crazy white haired lady with a spear killing everybody. Yeah! Weird! Wow! Sounds like you better be real careful! Yeah, I better be. Man, she sounds like a crazy psycho bitch. <laughs> yeah, man! I hear she's hot, though. What? Yeah, I hear she's super hot. Like, everybody wants to date her. I don't remember hearing anything about that. Wait a minute, is that spear holding? Oh, shit, he's on to me. <laughs> All right, nobody saw that. Nobody saw anything. And, uh, oh, shit, the cops are! Oh, God! Everybody run! Run! And now back to, oh my god, that looks so freaking delicious! Ah! Hello! Sneaky B! Back with some more Odin's Fear Lifeless here. When we last left off, our good old hubby Oswald wasn't doing so good. Especially after he learned that uh, Gwendolyn had actually given away the ring that uh, he gave to her out of love. To her father! Which made him all sad. And essentially gave himself up to the most busty underworld princess ever who also has her freaking spine showing for some reason god damn ah! after slaying the goddess of the underworld and essentially confronting her father saying that she would not give him the ring she and oswald finally embraced realizing that they had finally found true happiness ah uh, d and now the game's over all done no need to read these other books over here alice i think we're freaking finished you hear that mr kitty we're completely done with all of our adventures and there's really nothing else we can need to do i could just sit here in my chair wait wait sit here with my cat in my chair and think my big thoughts and look at my my story archive what is this again oh it's this thing all those blank spaces are literally nothing i could just sit here you just sit here and this is the rest of the game <laughs> listen to some lo-fi music that's the remainder of the let's play yeah just ignore that other book that other book on the ground that's sort of blinking right now that's all right that's not important we're all done all finished just sit here with mr kitty and my happy thoughts okay okay fine yes all right there's another the book i'll go check the other book fine mr kitty fine shut up but yes, apparently, uh, no, it's not over yet. Of course it isn't. We got this other one for some, with someone named Cornelius, which is really funny because I didn't run to any character, I think, on Gwendolyn's size with someone with that name. So yeah, interesting, which m must mean that whatever, whoever this person is was very disconnected from anything Gwendolyn did. But I will say, just I guess offhand, uh, I thought Gwendolyn's story was, was great. It definitely felt very, very focused, right? Like, it did seem like there was a lot of other stuff going on that we just did not cover at all, which to be fair is a pretty great way to start the story here, right? I think that's actually a good starting point for a narrative like this, where uh, you're really just kind of focused on maybe the smaller scope of your relationship with Oswald, your father, the actual ramifications and what's going on with the war isn't really the focus. It's just the each battle, you know? Yeah, that's right, Mr. Kitty. I know. I do think I agree. It is, is a very good way to start the, the story. And I, I imagine as I progress through the each of these narratives, it's going to start opening up more and more and more. Because really, even at this point, I still don't even fully understand what the cauldron is and why anyone fucking wants it. But anyway, last episode, uh, Firecraft 703 said, uh, rewatching Odin Sphere, I just realized how cracked Gwendolyn is. She single handedly barges her way through an enemy fairy country and beats the shit out of the fairy queen to get the ring. Then she barges down to the underworld and freaking murders the Queen of the Dead. I don't think Oswald is the only Blood Knight. <laughs> I know, right? Fucking cracked out of her goddamn mind. She don't give a fuck, man. She will kill anyone that gets in her stupid way. Yeah, she really is. Like, when she gets a thought in her head, like, I gotta do this, she just does it. She just freaking go goes and does it. But it's kind of awesome. It was a lot of fun. I, I will say, I really did enjoy Gwendolyn's gameplay. I'll be curious to see if the other characters that we play through, if they'll feel that much different from her or not. Or if they'll just be like, oh yeah, it's like kind of the same basic, you know, setup, just like Gwendolyn's, you know, like every character will feel relatively similar. I, I, or if they're going to be like, or if each character is going to have like their own gimmick. I, I don't know. We'll see. But Firecraft, thank you so much for your uh, hilarious insight. And it is for that reason you are coming to the day. Oh, yes, by the way, you guys also point out, and I, I completely just glossed over it. I, I could have cured the 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 mini, mini effect on my character by just pressing triangle. The game actually told me that. I just sort of glossed over it. Sorry, it went, it went right out my ear because I think I assumed I, I didn't really need to do that. Aside from the fact that I my, my defense was, like, you know, much worse, I was like, ah, that's not that big of a deal. Like, 
I, 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 I'll just stick in the small form and because it, it'll look funny, right? But then when I realized I couldn't use my skills, I was like, oh shit, no, I don't want to stay in this form, but I'd already forgotten <laughs> that I had read that you just press a button to get rid of it, so. Whoops. Oh yeah, so you guys did also tell me the fancy apple that I got uh, with Gwendolyn by beating that like optional boss fight, there, there is no recipe for it, so just eat it. So, okay, I, I actually went back and I just consumed it as Gwendolyn. Which, by the way, when you hop back into the story again, it actually puts you back uh, at the start of the epilogue again. So it's not any, like, post-game yet. I'm sure that will be unlocked. When I'm actually looking at the... Uh, actually, can I even see it here? I'm not sure if I can. I'm not sure if I can go to the save file. But there's essentially a bunch of stars. I can't see it here, but... Well, when I save next time, you'll see there's there's like a bunch of stars on your save file. And one of them has not been colored in, which is, I guess, completing Gwendolyn's story. However, there's way more than five <laughs> is what I'm noticing, which is kind of weird. I thought it'd just be like, you know, one star for each character. Maybe it's also counting what the um the stuff at the end is where it's like se seemingly is it's going to take place after you've beaten all the other scenarios. Right. That's what I'm thinking. Like the stuff that's at the very, very, very bottom. Way down here. Like, maybe this? Maybe these each also count star as a star as well? I'd also be curious if the, if the Cornelius person is going to be the one starting here? Like, if I'm just going to go, like, one, two, three, four, five, five, or... Or if it'll be all over the place. I don't know. I guess we're going to find out, because we never met this character before. So I'm really curious to see who they are and what they have to do with anything. So come on, Mr. Kitty, let's read yet another story. We're back to level one. I have no gold. I have zero play time again. It's time for a brand new adventure, the Puka Prince. I really do like this little main menu here. The girl reading the stories. Destiny can appear like a pitfall beneath one's feet. Who can say that tomorrow will be just like today? Souls have been known to vanish as easily as a lost coin. King Edmund's Court. Cornelius, are you going to the forest again? Ah, Cornelius, my nose is so huge! You've changed recently. I thought you would have learned to be responsible, but you are still immature. No matter how fascinating that girl in the forest is, remember, you are a prince. Be reasonable and stop acting like a fool. Your Majesty, the prince merely wishes to sow his wild oats while he retains his youth. Stay out of this, you court jester. Calling the royal sorcerer a fool is quite harsh. Father, as I have said, Tis no mere game or jake. <laughs> Hi there, My Yuri. Feelings are genuine. You just can't not show up at something, can you? I told you? you what happened to your uncle. Do you recall? Are you saying you wish to commit the same mistake? My brother loved a common girl from the village and was disowned by the king. After suffering that humiliation and fleeing the country, he fell ill. Father, this is different. The woman I love is no low-class commoner. I do not believe she is unfit for royalty. A kingdomless princess. What did she expect of you when you first met? Father, please stop insulting her. You may be my father, but I will not hear her impugned. Cornelius, I know of another princess. More beautiful, more honorable, wealthier. Hotter, too! Let your princess of the forest know my feelings. The Regardless Scarlet you Witch? Say, my mind is made up. If you do not approve, I shall abdicate my heritage. Thinking so. Cornelius, wait! Your Majesty, the Prince will eventually come to his senses. Shut up, Keith Perhaps Silverstein! We leave him be for now. Stop also showing up in every video game ever! Land of Despair at something. Uh, uh. Nani? It's a bun bun. Wait, is this the- Where am I? 
Where is this? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, what's happened to me? My body. That was fast. Or you got fucked up. My ears. <laughs> I... I... I'm a beast. Ah, Demon Llama! What in the world? Is this all a dream? No. This gloom. It chills me down to the bone. This is all too real. <laughs> Where are my pants? This place. It's so strange. It's entirely devoid of life here. If the stories of the netherworld are true, then this is surely it. Hmm. I have to find my way back. Back home to Titania. I must return to the princess. They said the forest lay, so I'm thinking it must be must be the Scarlet Witch, right? Old. Huh? You're sent. Yeah. Are you not Titanian royalty? Is that Daddy Near? I, so I am. I am Prince Cornelius. When I woke up, I was like this. Cornelius. I cannot see, but I know. Yes, surely, tis you. This fearful voice that speaks to me from the darkness. Who are you? Even if I told you, you would not believe me. I'm not sure if it is. Do not approach me. My flesh is merely a banquet for maggots and other filth. If you saw my body, your very soul would tremble and your blood freeze. Ah. <sighs> Take that. You shall find it useful. As Prince of Titania, tis your responsibility. That sword may eventually make my identity known. What do you want of me? Do you know what has happened to me? Go now. If you do not wish misfortune to haunt you forever, aim for your home, Titania. Your destiny awaits there. Wait! Please, go. Let me rest. He's gone. No, I'm still here. Just trying to sleep. Get out of here. <laughs> Tis a dream. An illusion. I'm still asleep in bed. Please let it be a dream. Let me wake from this nightmare and be greeted by the sun's warming rays. Cool sword, bro. But I have no choice. I must continue. So his is also a, it's a giant crystal, just like Gwendolyn's spear is like a crystal had a crystal on it as well, right? Land of despair and misery. Wow! Grenades for nibble actions with the sword. Hold down an X during a jump to do a special attack that plunges the sword un underneath. What the fuck am I fucking sh I'm fucking shovel knight? Ugh. Uh, okay, the control of the trajectory of it is a little weird. I can't really change direction very easily in midair. I can, but it's a it's a little okay. It's a little weird. Uh. Actually, I can just hold it. Yeah. Uh. Whoa! Holy shit! Holy! Holy shit! It doesn't stop. I'm gonna retry that shit. I knew better. I was just experimenting. I can't! Ah, Come on! Really? I guess that's tutorial shit. So anyway, I, I was about to say, I'm... So he's also got a crystal weapon of some kind, right? That is seeming like the crystal from the underworld. I'm almost wondering if every character I control in this game is gonna have a weapon that is like... Is like that, you know? That's like, plays into this some for somehow. I don't know. I guess we'll fucking find out. Something like sort of ties them together. Forest of Elrit. I must speak with you. It is an urgent matter. Please wait for me at our usual spot. I would like to finally shake the indecisiveness I have held for so long. My love, I shall speed towards you. 
quick as the wind. Did Oswald have a weapon like that? Ah, yes, Prince it is. Cornelius. It is her. I knew it. The Puka Prince. Wow, that was that was fast. All right, guys. Well, we're done. <laughs> All finished. See, there it is. See, we got one star. No, it's it's two. So there's seven. Yes. So instead of five, there's seven for whatever reason. Netherworld Eldelphia. Oh, okay, I'm back. Just continuing. What about the other area, though? Go back! Okay, his, qu his uh, attacks were kind of crazy. They chained together a lot, and I just kind of... All I was doing was mashing square. I was just staying in the air like that. Okay, we got up thing. Down. Uh, uh, whoa! Okay, there's his block. Okay, that's his uh, hold move. Oh, wait. Oh, that's up. So he's got one in the air that does that. And then one on the ground. That's this. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Oh, that's cool. Got like a Rayman uh, helicopter hover. It hurts. It hurts. Yeah. The pain won't go away even if my flesh rots off. If I could only pass out from the pain, then it would briefly go away. Ah, God damn relief it! Relief won't come. Bummer, bro. I'll oh, give you relief. Where is it, my poison blade? I don't know, but I can see your poison boobs. Find it for me. Okay. Am I just like I'm? I, so I'm. My home base is essentially down here in the netherworld, seemingly. That's interesting. What the fuck? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, oh, that's cool. Yeah, uh, Gwendolyn had a, char a down charge move as well. That's that's really neat. How did I do that pogo hop again? Can't seem to do it again. Uh, Cypher. Uh, so received in Nether in Netherworld becomes sharper as it absorbs foes on from the battlefield. Okay, different color palette here. Neat. I have prayed for forgiveness, but there is no salvation. Bummer, dude. Hear me, sinner. Hear my confession. Okay. What? <laughs> That's all. I have nothing to confess. Good for you. We say how much it hurts or how apparent our greed has become. But mere words cannot do justice to the anguish I feel. Give me anguish. Hey, a thing. I have poison if you want. Unfortunately, I do not have a blade to coat. Yeah, you said that before. I think it was a different voice actor that said that. I think. Cool. I have four bucks. What can I get with that? Literally nothing. You got a gun? I'm really gonna go for a gun. Damn it. Too bad all the items I had from uh, Gwen on the side didn't mysteriously make it into this item box. For some unbeknownst reason. Uh, okay. Yeah. I sense signs of life in this land, rules by carnage and destruction. Be this a trick, can I hope? Alas, I have naught to lose. Man, Keith Silverstein getting a lot of All work I here. All I feel now is resentment and hatred. I have lost any compassion I once had. You, walking skeleton, stop right there. Stop it. Who are you? I do not remember names. Who are you, aimlessly roaming this land? What purpose do you have? Spirits and goblins shall find you and tear your tender flesh to ribbons. What do you suggest I do? You. Do you wish to leave here? Preferably. In order to do so, it is necessary to receive permission from the Queen. Let me guide you to her. 
But in compensation for my services, I ask you to take me with you when you leave. Agreed? How greedy of you. I cannot promise your safety. Now come, and be quiet. Or else, they will gather. What are you doing? Stay close to the candle. Without light, you shall not be able to see the ghosts. Alright, can you walk a little faster than that, sir? Please. It's like I'm playing Xenoblade 3 when I'm following a fucking... one of my NPC friends. I have an audience with the Queen of the Dead in the Netherworld. Uh, give me some money! Uh. Hey, shines! And these little things. How did I do that? How did I fucking do the... There we go. It's it's down an X, that's it. Dark as fuck, boy. Ugh. Here, eat this. Ow. Ugh. Ugh. I did it. Go me. Who we? Feels weird. Weird being back to back to being a scrub again. This guy controls very differently from Gwendolyn. Like, really differently. It's gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> eh. Dude, hurry up, bro! Okay, we got a little onion friends down here. <laughs> His running image is funny, look at it. He sort of prances. Oh yeah, I guess I'm guessing I can... Sure can. Suck. Give him the old suck. So I currently have absolutely no moves, right? Yep, I L1's not doing anything, so. Hello! Yeah, he's not, his swings are much slower than uh, Gwendolyn's stuff. Okay? Yeah, pretty basic fights here. Oh good, give me a move. Ha! Yuri Lowenthal Bunny Power! Spiral Claw. Spiral Claw. Am I starting from the... Wait. Am I starting from the left side this time? I guess I am. Instead of the right. Oh, actually, I just realized he doesn't have a... Wait. Yeah. I think he actually has one less thing than uh, Gwendolyn did. Gwendolyn had another, uh, like, series of moves up top here. And another, like, hex gone above. But he only has... Once to the left, down and right. Forward spin dash with sword extended. Move up or down during use. Cool. Guess I'll go and just power it up. Whoa! Oh, ha, ha, ha. Well, that looked funny. I'll make that my side over. Whoa! Whoa! Boy, spin it! He's moving. Okay, getting more potions. Good. I'll be back to having a million material in no time. Oh, actually, I just realized, uh, that, yeah, that's, a, that's actually an accessory. I can equip that. Recover rate of your POW gauge up 20%. Bones! Bones! With money! Yeah, one thing I was actually noticing, initially I thought the bones were kind of useless, but you can actually kind of stun lock enemies and even bosses with the bones if you have like a bunch of them. It was helpful in some of those, uh, those uh, tougher enemy fights. Okay, rest area. I'm guessing Mori, he's probably here. I don't really have much in the way of seeds here. Just the... freaking Mulberry again. This guy. I will not hand over my treasure, eh? What? Yes, I have... Okay, this guy's... So, I'm noticing the merchants here are just kind of saying, like, the same thing that they said on Gwendolyn's side, so... Uh, area map? Yes, please. Uh... We also got overripe Mulberry, Detox Charm. Let's take a map. I wonder if it's going to be like Gwendolyn where like this first area is not that big and it's just going to get bigger as we go along. No, it's, this was actually a pretty decent size. I think this is bigger than what Gwendolyn's first area was, which makes sense. At this point, we've experienced a good chunk of the game. Oh, that's cute. Look at his little idle animation. He's looking at his ears like, ah, what was me? Curse my adorable bunny form. There's actually no Mori over here, though, is there? There isn't. Which means for now, I should probably eat some of these, uh, these mulberries. Urgh. Urgh. 
Level me up. Oh, that was some dank shit. I don't think I remember coming across an area that looked like this back when I... Ah! When I controlled uh, Gwendolyn. No way. There's definitely a different section of the underworld here. And the green is poison and death. Ugh. Ooh, a habanero. Yeah, we're actually getting... We're also getting a better variety of stuff here, too. Or, uh... uh whatever they call them. The Mandragoras. Oh, no! I poisoned myself. Shit. Uh-oh. I have actually no way to heal it. That's a problem. Oh, now I do. Ah! Oh, why am I fighting you now? Okay, good. Okay, it's only level one though. So, we're... Ah! Ah! oh God, that move. No, 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 stop it. He's gonna do that. I got the... the the range of that fucking deflection is very high. Ugh. These swings are doing some damage, I will say. Woo! Yeah! Oh wait, still alive. Ugh. It does seem like getting bigger number combo numbers for him is going to be a bit harder because he's just... His attacks are just quite a bit slower. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, there we go. Some Cubs Bane. Feels good, though. I, I like that he feels so different. Get over here, ghosties. Get over here, sexy ghosties. Don't shoot shit for me. Woo! <laughs> Keep the combo going! Yeah, holy shit. A rank, goddamn. It was rough. All right, I'm gonna retry that. What if you retried? Do you still get the items that you picked up? I don't think you do. I think I, I, think I actually lose them. Which would make sense. Hey, that was a critical hit. Damn. Gotta be careful that one uh, one move his can kind of whiff. I'm not careful. So I'm actually finding I'm sending the enemies too fucking far away. Like, I, I'm like hitting them and they're just going so far. It's actually getting harder to keep my combo up. There we go. Yeah, I will say I thought he's definitely he feels harder to control than um, Gwendolyn does. A lot. Like, his stuff flows together in sort of a weird but kind of different way that I... not Definitely not used to. Like, he just tends to knock enemies much further away from him. So you really gotta rush over to them. I'm actually finding it much harder to get my combos can, can continually going here. God damn it, dude. Yeah, getting this S rank is rough. It also doesn't help that this area is especially annoying with just the fact that these enemies have to be in the light. So it really makes it really hard to keep your combos going. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, actually, I should check his skills too. Is there any secret bullshit? Before the endpoint of at the rock cleft, look above and investigate. The endpoint at the rocked cleft. Uh, okay. What that's referring to? I find this this move feels a little weird. I don't know. It doesn't seem very good. <laughs> it just it, you can't control your trajectory like super great. Eat the mulberries. Blah, 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 blah. So many mulberries. What are you doing? Come over here. Do not get distracted by the ghosts and stray from my side. Dude, you're the one straying from my side. I barely see you. I see like 30 other copies of you. I have poison. I have poison, but I don't have a blight. Good for you, dude. Uh, we got Luxstone. Sure, I'll take that. Holy mother of God! Oh, to space! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, I think that's my biggest like critique of this guy is I don't like how how he why he keeps sending him so far away. Like it, it really ma it's making continuing these combos like 
much harder. Oh yeah, I can't forget I also have my uh, abilities down here. Uh, increased movement speed on the ground, rapid walk. Okay, so instead of the rapid glide, I have now rapid walk. Uh, increase any HP recovery by 20%. After eating food, increases the damage of the next attack by 30%. That's a weird one. Increases Pal's auto recovery speed. Uh, HP recovery. That just... Very good. So I assume that the rock thing is talking about... It's probably like something over here. In like one of these areas. I do move a good bit faster now. Oh, mid-boss. This weird thing again. Uh, uh, be the shabby... Uh. This character seems like it might be good for beating bosses, but bad for regular enemies. I don't know. Because <laughs> he does sort of melt these bosses. Whereas even Gwendolyn, even at the starting stages, felt like it took a while, you know? Oh God, Jesus Christ. Uh! Like this side move of his really can whiff a lot. This move on smaller enemies. Uh, uh, uh. There we are. Woo! Give me the ring. This is the ring that uh, occasionally stops damage, I think. Yep. Damn, he booking it. Okay, clearly I passed it along, along the way here somewhere. So it said before the end point, the rock cleft. Is it... I'm talking about this area over here, I, I destroyed a bunch of crystals that were over here. Oh! Hey! Cool! I saw that thing there, I was like... It, it didn't show up until I started... I, until I actually looked up, and then it, then it gave me the prompt. That's cool. Arc wheel. Spin attack that follows an arc through the air. Uh, another pow one. Just go and power it up. This one has a bigger area effect. Whoa. Okay, so that's a... Go, that move goes up. Like that my up move. Cool. That definitely has a... That definitely has a bigger area effect. All right. We uh, got down here. The Netherworld Shrine. What an odd blade. It is frighteningly sharp. It must be a magic sword. Indeed it is. Indeed! A sword made from the jewels selfishly stolen from here by the dwarves. Sinful bandits were blundered into the netherworld while alive. Ask yourself how you came to hold that sword. If you wish for the Queen's compassion, be a dear and hand it over to me. I will give you a peaceful death. You are the Queen of the Netherworld. I am the Prince of Titania. And buddy form. I do not know why I am here. I would like you to return me to the living world. Once you enter this land, you cannot be allowed to leave. Please, though? Whoever you are is irrelevant. Your careless existence makes you want to leave. This is the land of the dead. Once you taste death, you will appreciate it. Oh shit, I'm fighting you again? Except at the start? Odette, oh, queen of the dead! Clearly I'm not going to kill you. Uh. Uh. I can't really control the trajectory of that move either. Uh. 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 Ow, I got hit by something. Can't store more items. Oh, shit. Oh, shh. Ah, oh, fuck me. I can fix that. Uh. Here. Hold this. Burn, bitch. Uh. Uh. Oh! Here, hold some of these bones for me. Uh, uh, uh. Let me show you guys what I mean. Look, look at this. Uh, uh. Oh, wait, what the hell? Did you block it? Oh, there we go. 
I mean, it's only a chance of happening. <laughs> Damn, you gave me look like a fool. No, not you. Get over here, bitch. Oh, God damn it. Ugh. Wow, she's just beefing, beefing through this, isn't she? Okay, it must only be a chance of happening. Yeah, there we go. I thought it was guaranteed. I did it before where I was just getting, like, I would get a just dizzy after dizzy after dizzy. And man, I just got lucky. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's like when it doesn't work though, it just just bonk, just bounces off her. Yeah, die once again, bitch. Die in the past to save the future! Fine, go if you wish. Even if you leave here, you will enter the Demon Lord's domain. Demon Lord. The Valkyrie that serve that man are always searching for trespassers. They will capture you. You may wail in futility. But I must inform you, those who are placed in the netherworld while alive are sinners facing my judgment. Such people never find peace, even after death. They are destined to be torn apart by ghosts and shall forever wander the land. You will join them. Whatever, bitch. I'm a bunny without a single fuck to give. But I was not sent here. I have not sinned or committed any crime. I merely woke up and found myself here. Queen of the Netherworld, I shall go. Allow me to prove to you that this is some mistake. Your short life is a dream. Death shall awaken you. Death awaits you. Your sword has prolonged it. Your soul shall never rest. The puka shall stay afloat with a candle and light the way across the desolation. Ah! Prepare yourself. The puka? The power of the puka bunny. So I have escaped the netherworld. But as the queen had warned, I soon became a prisoner of the demon lord. The demon lord. Also, you got a foes on. Spark bolt. Electric shot that will dizzy foes. Hey, I don't need bones anymore. Okay, that sounds good. That sounds like my neutral attack. Sounds like the ice move of uh, Gwendolyn. So I am lightning based. Seemingly. Is this just gonna skip ahead? Am I just like gonna be in the demon lord's prison or something? Or is he just talking about what's going to happen here in a bit? Oh, no, I'm, yeah, I'm just here now. Hi. It's not this way. Go straight in the other Go direction. straight that way. If Go to jail. Anything foolish, I'll slit your throat. Then I'll eat you. Have me some bunny stew. I bear you no ill will. Why are you detaining me? Usually, sinners who flee the netherworld are killed, and their souls are sent back from whence they came. Be grateful. Be grateful, you dumb bunny bitch. To capture you. Oh, right. Uh, where the fuck am I? I am. Okay, this is the second one. Okay, so I actually, I wonder then I'll probably run into Gwendolyn, right? But I didn't, because I started her story after all that. I would never have actually met him or, uh, yeah, seen seen him on her side. So I, his stuff is still actually not the earliest though. There is still somebody over here that is is earlier. <laughs> is this the intruder? Hello. Wait. Yes. It is oh. said he had a cipher, a crystal sword. Where is it? Gwendolyn's Princess sister. Gwendolyn will deliver it to the king. Before she died. It seems Gwendolyn is being lenient, as usual. That's cool. If I had found him, I would have taken his life right then and there. Yeah, well, fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, don't know me. Oh, man, I can't have to stab her. God damn it. Actually, that's right. I don't have my sword. It's on my back. Oh, God, it's this weird merchant guy. Poor little guy. 
You're about to be judged, right? You're about to be judged, eh, Baba they dude. Say money talks, even in hell. Why not have a feast before you go? Have a feast before you die. Again, eh, hey, bada bing, bada boom, bada la 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 la. Okay, thank you, dude. Yes. Uh, I will take your muggle. Take a bite out of that muggle, baby. Uh. Oh, I can't. I can't currently consume it. Son of a bitch. Oh, hey! There she is! I sold my sword! Gwenna, why didn't we show me this part in your story? The throne room is up ahead. The king shall pass judgment on you. Now, come this way. Give me my cool sword back. I'm gonna bust out of here, man. I'm gonna bust out of here. I'm gonna fuck kill everybody. The power of Bun Bun. Fuck you, Odin. You can't hold this bunny down. Ah, the Valkyrie are causing a commotion over something so ludicrous. Is this the sad Puka who calls upon the demon lord who is feared by all? Puka? Puka? I am the prince of Titania, Cornelius. Ruler of the Northern Realm. I have no intention of causing any damage or harm to your country. I only request permission to travel across your land. I cannot believe the story of a sinner who managed to escape the netherworld. I have committed no sins. So you say. But that sword you carry, I remember it well. Yeah? It is a special sword our country gave to the previous king of Titania. Hm. You don't seem to be lying. But if you are a prince, and have not sinned, show me your bravery to prove it. Really? Hmm. Let's see. Bring back the horn our most ferocious warrior uses as a flagon. If you should be successful, I shall believe your story. What kind of test is that? I shall comply. I shall prove myself. Bunny power! Give me my, can I have my sword back? Before I attempt this. Let me return your sword. Thanks, Gwendolyn. Friend. Are you really going to go? Lord Brigan is known to dislike Pukas. Those outside of the castle who have heard the king's orders shall attack you. Oh god, freaking Brigan again. Father often asks people to perform tasks that he knows are impossible. Thank you for your concern. But I am Prince of Titania. I shall succeed with honor. I'm a goddamn bunny prince, alright? Look at me going on! All right, so I'm just gonna beat ass. I'm taking Brigan's horn. Oh god, damn! I gotta fight Brigan again. Ah, I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of fighting that dickhead. He's such an asshole. Ugh. All right, what are we dealing with this time? Roof in which the flying dwarf awaits. Uh, okay. Uh, uh. This, that poker move does not seem very good. <laughs> Really just doesn't feel like I can do a whole lot with it. And just doesn't control very well, so it's like... Like, I'm trying, man. Like, look how Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ! Ah! Ow, ow, ow! Now, that might be the secret to doing this shit. Just stay low to the ground. That's how you keep the combo going with that move. Stay down here. Don't go too high. Don't otherwise just fly over their head. Oh, barely got that S-Rank. Got level 7 dude in here. Oh god, it's this thing again. Oh, the downside of the electric bolt is that it doesn't home in like her, uh, like Gwendolyn's ice attack used to. Oh, God, it's this dude! Oh! I'm gonna fuck her! 
Yeah, but the, but the benefit of his is the fact that it can dizzy uh, his opponents. That is pretty good. Holy shit. Ugh. Ah! Okay. In pain. Consume. Oh god, the flamethrower! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, that was close. What are you even supposed to do about this thing? I, like, seriously, when this thing's shooting at fire, I don't know what the fuck the game wants you to do. Like, you have to kill- I think you have to kill the dwarf that is, like, piling the thing, but it's, like, fucking impossible. Without just, like... Because the thing just shoots everywhere. I couldn't really figure it out before what, what it was that it wanted me to do. Ah! Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Yeah, you, oh, you just gotta attack that thing. It's just really hard to do. Burn. There we go. Oh God, oh Jesus Christ, oh Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh, that was close. Oh my god, what is happening? Ah! I'm stuck in stun lock there. Oh Jesus. Ah, burn. Who's even manning that thing? Oh my god, ugh. I don't like anyone is. Oh, this thing's almost dead. Fuck it, eat this. Die! Ah! Uh, whew! Yeah, this kinda nuts. There's some f things that the attacks that this thing does, I'm like, not even really sure what the game is expecting me, just other than just kinda throw myself at it and pray to god. Uh, speed belt. Running speed by 10%. Ah, that's okay. Go even faster. Oh, is this the area that... It says... Uh, uh... Roof in which the the flying dwarf awaits. So, like... Here? There's a flying dwarf here. I don't think so, because it doesn't really seem to be like a roof or anything anywhere. Oh, yeah, I'm finding the key to this move. Just stay low. That's how you do it. That's how you don't lose your, your combo shit. I think it was also harder because the other guys in the uh, the previous area were also a lo lot more airborne. So it took a bit more aiming. Since these guys are actually staying on the ground, it's way easier. Oh yeah, my electric ball actually goes through enemies too. That's useful. It's actually piercing. That's good. Yeah, that, that actually makes it a lot better, then. Even if it doesn't home in, if it pierces and doesn't just, like, immediately stop an enemy, that makes it much better, too. Alright, I'm starting to hang a bunny boy a bit here. As I'm getting more stuff for him, too. Uh, there's a relief of outspread wings on the door. Still no sign of Mori. Alright. Another foe's on. Whirling Blade! Uh, giant swing that hits front and back. Move left and right during use. Huh. 50% POW use. Jesus, that's an expensive one. Oh, spin to win! Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this one. Increase POW's auto recovery. I've been following you. Hello! I was wondering if you could sell me that sword before you got yourself killed. Haha, <laughs> how about I fucking stab you with it instead? Too bad! How about I fucking stab you with it? Steal all your shit like your fireproof charm here. Ah, got him up! Okay, cool. Can I have your sword now? Here, have this instead. Ah! Oh god, mid boss! Another mid boss! All right, I'm definitely seeing uh, quite a bit, quite a bit of uh, reused uh, bosses here. Just make me start to think that every every uh, 
character playing the game is gonna fight the exact same bosses. Also, the fact, I'm like, I'm gonna fight Brigand here in a second. Which isn't a huge deal, but maybe a little disappointing, if that is the case. Probably at least a few unique ones too for each person. Uh, uh, is he getting big? He's getting fucking big or bigger? I think he did. Uh, 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 oh my god, I'm still going. It's never gonna. Oh fuck! No, I didn't realize how low health I was. No, <laughs> ain't never gonna stop until I was gonna be stopped. I'm so bloodthirsty. Uh, eat this. Uh, uh, actually, some fucking damage. Uh, Holy shit! That move is actually surprisingly effective. Ah, oh, fuck that dwarf in particular. Oh my god. I'm a bunny god. Ah. Saturn Bangle. Damage dealt and taking up 10%. Ah, yes. This is yet again. Give me the vampire crit. Oh, hey. Oh my god. Got another fucking super boss thing? Jesus, really? This early? Oh my god, she's getting crazy. Oh, this move is actually awesome because it actually sucks everyone into his like blade. That's really good. It's a really good crowd control move. Yeah, now I'm unlocking Moose this guy. I'm starting I'm starting to get the, a feel for him, and it's feeling pretty damn good. I wasn't sure initially. It, it, it is kind of rough and at first when he doesn't have like any moves. Yeah, a lot of his real his combo potential honestly comes from his his skills here. Hey, I finally got a note. Painkiller. I don't know if I've come across how to make this one. Equipment. Oh, oh no, I have. Yeah. I just haven't done it because I don't want to use my equipment. Well, I guess probably can start to use my my inferior versions of equipment, like when I start getting plus one versions and stuff. Okay, I put another speed belt on. Uh, oh god! I'm about to break the sound barrier. Uh, ah, woo! 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 I'm a bunny on speed, baby. Let's go! That's weird. There's a connection here to the top. I don't see a doorway or anything. Get up here. You only come from above it? Oh. That might be the case. If I just fall? Yeah. Hmm. That might relate to how I get the skill. I have a distinct feeling it's going to be in this area. Hey, there he is. Flying dwarf. Rawr. Here we go! It's gotta be in this area, more than likely. Yeah! There it is! Ha ha! I fucking knew it. Uh, assault high. Oh yeah, this move. Yeah, this is insanely good. The passive move. Based on the number of the chain, you definitely wanna get that. And max that shit out. I was making Gwen's moves crazy strong. Hi there. Whoa, I surrender. We're not mad that I killed all your friends. That sword was crafted by dwarves using a jewel as its main component. You don't say. When it absorbs phosons, it grows stronger as it absorbs their mystical energy. It absorbs their fucking souls. Hello. Puka, it pleases me to see that you are well. Puka! I am delivering a message from Princess Gwendolyn. Lord Brigand's strength lies in the four shields on his chest. I, I know, I fought him before. You must first destroy the shields before you can defeat him. Good luck. 
<laughs> I find it hilarious that the game is telling me this. Well, acting like I haven't already fought him previously. Well, this is unusual. Do you have enough medicine, little one? I'll sell you some if you require it. Sure thing, deeper voice Lord Yuri Lowenthal. Spirit Stone. Max PP up. Healing tonics and stuff. Oh my god, I build up a big fucking chain here. Jesus Christ. 300 chain. Urgh. Bunny piss. Urgh. All right, got the wing key. Okay, so it's, it's only a level seven boss. It's not like a, it's not like I, there's gonna be like a level 20 or 30 boss or something like really early and then I'd have to come back when I got stronger. It's kind of what I was thinking it might be. All right, let's do it. Oh God, double whammy. It's like that guy I fought earlier, but two of them. Ah, I'm fucking crazy. That's one down. Booyah, Grandma. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of this bunny now, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is probably... This isn't going to heal me. This isn't going to be like 100 HP like the other one did. I think this is like... I think the other one was like a silver one, right? I think this is a bronze one, and this is probably a gold one, too. Just betting. Yep, so this one gives me max HP of 50, and the other one gives me max HP of 500. Fruit C, thank you. Lucky mix. What's that? Increase the chance that enemies will drop items. Okay. Uh, nothing really worthwhile. Okay, after eating food, we increase the damage to the next stack by 30%. It's kind of a weird one, but okay. All right, wing key. Arr! Yell at the door to open it. All right, Brigand. Here we go again. More mead, wench. Hey, hurry up. Bring me more drink. Whatever, dickhead. Odin. Can't you see that women are far more useful off the battlefield? Jesus Christ, dude. Lord Brigan, we are in danger. Silence. What do you want? A bunny's here. Ah, oh, I killed him. You must be Lord Brigan. Although I take this form, I am Prince Cornelius of Titania. I have come here today to borrow that horn for a just cause. I don't know what this is about, but you're an irritant, Puka. You want this horn? I'll trade your skin for it. Yeah, but with so little fur, I won't be able to do much with it. Smash! Let's do it, General Brigan. General Dickhead. Oh, that's right. Gotta break his. Gotta break his armor. Ah, this move actually might be really effective. At yep. Wow. Yeah, that's super effective. Holy shit. All right, there we go. Ah. Uh. Ow. Hey, do me a favor. Hold this. Oh my god! That is some fucking damage, bro. I was trying to get more meat. No meat for you! Alright, here. Do it again. Uh. That's just melting him. Oh my god, I'm fucking him up so badly. Uh. Uh. Hold this. Uh, get that shield off. Uh, uh, 
No, don't touch him. Don't touch him. Stop it. Stop it, all of you. Uh, damn, I fucked this guy up so bad. Holy shit. He got messed up. Get fucked, Brigand. Puka. No. Prince of Titania. Hey, my I man. I praise your bravery and welcome you as a guest of our kingdom. Thanks. The Netherworld's queen. She called me that as well. I would like to ask you, why do you call me Puka? Those like yourself, who have been cursed into the form of beasts, are known as Pukas. It is a powerful curse. Not even I, uh -oh. knower of thousands of magics, can break it. Hmm. If someone's trying to trap me, I must stop them. Oh, so Your the other Majesty, the other bunnies are, wish to are cursed to as well? Is so it's like a race of bunnies? Do as you wish. Gwendolyn, escort the prince to Ragnanovel's border. As you wish. Oh, she has her she has a basic spear. I appreciate your help, King Odin. Cute detail. My apologies for my behavior. I was unaware of your impressive skills. No. Thank you for your hospitality. It seems like so long ago since I was in my own land. Time to wax philosophical. I can now finally return to my country, Titania. Huzzah! Oh, by the way, a little detail that I noticed when I went back to rewatch the end of the of Gwendolyn's story, when she uh, embraced Oswald, the little bird shows up for a second, like kind of semi-transparent and disappears, like flies off. That, that The one that's been like, you know, casting doubts in her mind, which I thought was a cute detail. Two princes and the treasure sword. When Galon, the previous king of Titania, yet lived, Ragnav Ragnat, ah, Ragnar of all, gifted them a treasure sword as proof of their alliance. It was set with a magical blade known as a cipher, but in Titania, it is now known as a cursed blade. So it goes the story. Of the royal sons, the elder took a liking to the mystic sword, and the king gave it to him graciously. As he branded the blade, however, he accidentally injured his father. Though a minor, shallow cut, the king, the king was enraged. The normally gentle monarch's fear, fear uh, shocked his vassals. Though even the younger son pleaded his father's forgiveness, the king grew cold and distant from the elder. Jesus. Dude, just calm down. Eventually, the elder son rena renounced his royal blood and fled with his lover. Since that day, the treasured sword has been thought cursed. He was buried and was buried in the darkness of history. An account of the royal family's incident with the cursed sword, the source of King Galen's rage was never truly clarified and mystery surrounds the tale. So, okay. So it sounds like the prince here has a, had an older brother and this, is, this sword was originally given to him. A plasma circle. Uh, surround yourself with electric shots. Cool. Oh, and now I'm here. I have made my way back to Titania. Hello, kind shrew. The once honorable King Edmund was once the savior of the land, but he has waned in recent years. Criminals and sorcerers now roam the streets as if they owned the city. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Well, be that as it may, I think we're gonna have to end things uh, here for now, guys. This is good. I wasn't sure about the bunnies gameplay at first. It seemed like I was like, I don't know. It didn't seem like it flowed as well. But once I actually started unlocking a lot of his moves, now it feels good. Now it feels quite good, actually. And hilariously, what I actually thought was he, he, he didn't seem like he could get many combos off at all. And now with his moves, he's just like fucking, oh my God, I got more hits on him than I did with Gwendolyn. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not ready to become a picky penguin. A boy with a cell P. Where the day's always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.